A recent update called Patch 5 has been released for Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and the update note for this one highlights and promised numerous enhancements to the CPU usage, reduction of traversal stuttering and more. However, the question remains does this update truly delivers on these promises and shows big improvements compared to the previous one? So without any further ado, let's find out. Let's start by taking a look at the patch note. Here we see improved content caching to reduce hitching. And of course this one is talking about a fix to mitigate reversal stuttering, which really plagued this game. And here with the previous patch, we can see how entering this saloon caused a massive stutter, a noticeable spike in the frame time graph. And it's repeatable which means this is a traversal stutter and not a shader compilation stutter. And here in the new patch we can see the same behavior with the same intensity. And even after playing the game a little bit with the new patch I can confirm that traversal stuttering has not been reduced. Let's move on to the next line in the patch note which mentioned improved thread handling when ray tracing is off. And this one is pointing to multi threading and better CPU utilization with RT off. And here there is no noticeable improvement in this regard. The game still most of the time only utilizes and saturates a small number of CPU threads, which leads to low GPU usage and performance drop. Next in the patch note we have a fix for an issue where lowering the PC visual settings would incorrectly lower your resolution scale if FSR is disabled. And this one is talking about a problem I mentioned in my first video for this game. Before this patch, changing this preset option called graphics quality also affect the rendering resolution of the game. For example using high graphics quality preset lowered the rendering resolution to 87%. And because of this running the game at anything but epic graphics quality and turning off FSR leads to lower resolution image. And now with this new patch, I can confirm that this problem is fixed, as you can see here, when turning off FSR. And regardless of the graphics quality preset, the game will render at native resolution. And that's it for this patch, right now I'll leave you with full benchmark for CPU performance and Coruscant where I noticed a significant performance improvement with the new patch. Unlike other areas like the outposts in Kubo or the GPU performance tests in Jela. So I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.